My name is Jeremy Miller. I am with Troop 13 in Cincinnati under the Dan Beard Council. One of the primary concerns that I have is when you allow sex into scouting, it opens the door to so much more. It also goes against the Boy Scouts codes of, uh, codes of behavior, the Boy Scout oath and the Boy Scout law. The Boy Scout law says to be clean. It says to be reverent. Those are both violated by homosexuality. I don't believe that adult leaders are really the concern. I believe that uh, it'll be scouts that will be the concern, allowing gay scouts to be openly gay in the BSA is going to open the door to boy-on-boy uh, -boy sexual contact, much more, uh, the door will be open wide to bullying and to um, older scouts being predators on younger scouts. I've heard many say that they will turn in their eagle badge and uh, so as not to be associated with the Boy Scouts. That I do not plan on doing. I believe that I earned that badge with my hard work from a respectable organization. Um, if the organization changes their policy, my oldest son is a Cub Scout right now. I will be pulling him out of the Cub Scouts. Most likely the troop that I am in, as I'm a leader, uh, will be shut down and I will be uh, helping to shut down that troop. Uh, and a Cub Scout pack as well. I believe there's close to uh, 60 or 70 total scouts. When you have a stance, a very strong stance for so long, and then you just up and reverse it. And the stance is there for moral reasons. When you reverse that stance, you are showing that you don't believe in morals anymore. You're just reversing that, and you're not uh, standing up for what you believe is right. The Boy Scouts is there to grow boys into men. Being brave is part of the Scout law. When you're not brave enough to stand up to bullies who want you to do whatever they want you to do, then what point is there in teaching boys how to be brave?